Hello everybody. Today the stuff I ordered from the Jack Rabbit Trading Post in jo yeah, Joseph City, Arizona came and it is the license plate here and then this sign which is going to go in the shed and it is 1,959 miles between our house right here to that trading post gift shop on Route 66 so when you order these you just go on to Google Maps or whatever and find out the mileage and then you enter it in and the woman who runs the shop puts it on there for you so that's pretty nice and I ordered this off Amazon to go with the license plate and this is the the here it is sign which is across the road from the shop and it's very famous if anybody knows anything about Route 66 plus the movie cars used a lot of Route 66 stuff and they had uh, I forgot what was on it but they they played on this too in there but it'll go like this and Don can put it on the car it's the first time I've had a any kind of a cool license plate on the front of the car and no we do not have to have front license plates in Michigan so that's why we can put something like that on the front of the car instead of having to have double regular license plates and one on the front and one on the back like a lot of states and then Don's stud finder came Don's toy yeah 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 you find yourself stud yet? I did way back in 2014 no. and I, I'm looking at him no you're not oh and by the way he did cut his hair finally no I didn't <laughs> Did it go to the center? Your finger's on it, on the light for the center. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go so, to the center? Yeah, so you're the stud. <laughs> so, anyway, a lot of you might not know that I'm obsessed with Route 66, and someday, if we can get enough money, I want to rent a car and Don and I will drive the whole length of it and see everything and film vlogs all along the way. What happened was in 1995 I got a job at the Grand Canyon and I took the Greyhound out there, the Greyhound bus, but I didn't know anything about Route 66 so I was young and dumb and then I ended up quitting the job at the Grand Canyon because of some dumb guy who talked to me on the bus and went to Indio, California and then he sent me away back to Michigan and then I spent all summer working on Mackinac Island and saving all my money so I can hurry, could buy a car and hurry up and get out to California to nothing because I made no plans ahead of time whatsoever I was very young and dumb and I thought oh I can go out there immediately find a job save all my paychecks and get a hurry up and get an apartment and when I get out there I'll have so much money left that I can stay in a motel until I get an apartment wrong when I got out there I had 35 bucks left just enough for one night in a motel and then I spent three months in a homeless shelter and then I had to give up and come back to Michigan but anyway the point is I was too young and dumb I was 19 and 20 to know that I was out on Route 66 because I-40 runs pretty much the route of Route 66 and that there was a whole bunch of cool stuff to see and a whole bunch to learn but I was so young and dumb that I had no idea and it kind of makes me sick that I was out there and missed it all because I didn't pay any attention because I was too busy worrying about hurrying up and getting to nothing but anyway, I've spent the rest of my life researching Route 66 and watching YouTube videos and learning all about it and hopefully sometime we can get out there. But that explains the Route 66 stuff you sometimes see around here because I really like it and I, I hope we can go back someday. And then yesterday, 
the uh, yeah, the pin and the pressed penny that I ordered from the carpet bagger came. That's it right there. And he included this postcard, which I thought was really cool. And he signed it. So I'll definitely be holding on to that. And the other bed sheet finally came yesterday. So we've got both of these now. And this came the other day. So I have all the super editions now, except the new gray stripe one, which doesn't even get released until September. But this has a, a very pretty cover on it, if I can get to it. Sometimes it's good to order them in hardcover because you get this, and you don't get this with the paperback. So that's really pretty. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Coffin, coffin, coffin. Yeah, like one in the bathroom. <coughs> You're not sick, are you? Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah. the green herb. Okay. Hi. You want this stuff? No, I don't think you do. You just want food. Kitty wants food. So the governor extended everything until May 15th, but she never did say we can't go outside at all. She never said we can't go out in our own yards or we can't go for walks or we can't go anywhere, period. So we're going to take the car to the car wash and get it clean so the uh, that license plate can get put on it and not just be covering up a bunch of dust and dirt and walk through Awaken Park and get the the pokey stops there for Pokemon Go. Normally there's nobody there, so there shouldn't be. But the car is filthy. We're here at the car wash. This is the first time we ever used this one, but I think the car needs a really good washing. It's so filthy. But we have to wait for that person. But we already paid for it with my card. The best wash. The best possible. Right? It's called the best wash, which is the, you know, the best one you can get yeah. for what you're paying for. Because this car is so filthy. And then we can always go home and shop vac the inside. It does too. It looks a whole lot better. It never has been clean since we had it. First time it's been washed since we've had it. Yeah. Now it's actually uh, green again. There's a little bit here that didn't come off, but oh no, that's permanent. But yep. Nice and clean and then we can vacuum it out. But in the meantime, we're here at Awaken Park and we're going to walk through and get all the pokey stops because they added a whole bunch of new ones on everything in here. But they did it in the middle of winter when there was three feet of snow in here. So now we can finally walk through and get them all. And here's my favorite dragon sculpture. 
there's a, a whole bunch of new subscribers here over the winter that haven't seen any of this stuff yet so all these sculptures are made by Tom Moran of Moran Ironworks and this park is filled with them so it's pretty cool and then the, there's the ruins of the Lobdell Emery steering wheel factory so that's all historical and it's all marked what it, you, marked what it used to be yeah well we filmed the steering wheel thing I did what do you do I filmed this big steering wheel already yeah it, somebody keeps turning the thing I'm thinking it's wind I tried turning it by myself and there's no way yeah hopefully it doesn't fall off because there's no lip or anything on that if the wind comes from the wrong direction it might fall on the ground and if that thing is humongous yeah I'm thinking it's uh, wrong that's the wind coming through and making it spin yeah oh look somebody put a rock here maybe to use as a step because this is too high I've never been able to get in here <laughs> yay I finally made it in here of course there's nothing in here but this used to be something for the factory. And this is where the dynamo wheel was. A massive 12 foot dynamo wheel produced electricity for the entire Lobdell factory complex. So the wheel was in here. A water wheel. It's gone now, but it would have been cool to see in the early 1900s, this whole factory burned down and destroyed all of Anoe's future. So, yeah. And then this is always filled with water. Gross. It looks kind of cool in here, but you can't walk in here unless you have waders or something. I mean, that part doesn't have water. It might later, but right now it doesn't. But right now it's just swamp and it goes way up there yeah and then I see they have a, a pole holding this wall up well, I think it was just a creed that was just there that this died and fell over maybe That's it looks kind of uh, you know what I mean strategically placed though I don't know why well, I we, well, I think it was just screw that died off and fell over. Well, that's just my opinion. Nobody knows. And now we're at the actual main entrance of the park, even though there's three different ways to get in here. And I see they have put a gym on that sign over there. So I'll have to detour, detour over there and get that. And the Iron Man sculpture is gone that normally sits right here. So apparently Tom Moran had somewhere else to put that. I'm sure it wasn't stolen because that thing was heavy. So this is the sign. This was also made by Moran Ironworks. And so was the gate thing all the way over there. Yeah, they were uh, in uh, the 4th of July at one point. And this is the whole history here. If you guys want to pause that and read it. And then on the back, which I didn't know about this right away, on the back is a big map of what everything used to be. What it used to look like and stuff around here. Yeah, so that weird silo thing that I can't figure out what it is, it's right here. Obviously it's way shorter than it used to be. Sawdust silo. So, at least I think, uh, Maybe it's not this part, maybe it's this part that's still there, because that thing is square. So I think it's this part that's still here, and this part's gone. But anyway, all that went up, up in flames. There are a lot of apple trees here. They do give apples, but I think they're sour and bitter. Well, they're just wild, you know, just wild apple trees, you know, that just yeah, I don't like them. Yeah. Uh, but now you go way back from over here, there's some that's not too bad. 
Yeah. You got to follow that trail over there and it'll take you around the city sewer system. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that the stinky sewer tanks over over that hill? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it, yeah it is. But, uh, there, but that trail you see there, you can, we can physically go down that and get back in there. And there's a lot more apple trees back in there and some are actually pretty good. Uh, maybe another day. Besides the dragon, this is my favorite sculpture in here because I love trains. There's a lot of human heads in here, which they're all cool and all, but I like things like this better, and the sturgeon in town. But this is definitely really cool. And there's a lot of water from the snow melt that will go away, but definitely really cool. And it used to have a working light and a working bell, but they removed it all when they brought it in here. Probably against uh, vandals. And I see somebody scratched in there. LOL JK. Laugh out loud, just kidding. Why is that funny? People can't leave anything alone. But at least it's not spray paint. And I'm not gonna crawl up in there this time, but you can go in there. There are stairs right here. But you can check our previous videos because I've been up in this thing lots of times. It's definitely cool. And now I see people have been throwing stones at the train, because here they all are. These stones down here on the ground. That's really rude. You can't ever have nice things. And there's this scary looking guy with his weird smile and his crazy eyes. I think it's, yeah, Gerald Ford. And now we're coming up on the big Statue of Liberty head. This used to be out by Subway, but they moved it in, in here. And that Gerald Ford head was downtown by where Dollar General is now. But they had to move it when Dollar General wanted to build. And there's Abraham Lincoln. And then Moran also made that bridge over there that crosses into Chandler Park, which is the third way to get in here. So normally when I'm making the circle in Awaken Park, I don't come over here. But there's a pokey stop on here. So I'll show you guys the bridge up close. It just goes over some swamp. Which definitely smells very, very swampy today. No fish in there. And one more head. A soldier. I think this one might be called the unknown, the, yeah, the unknown soldier, something like that. It doesn't have a plaque. I thought it used to, but maybe not. And here is quite a bit of the ruins. And it looks like they're getting rid of more of the brush. There is more factory ruins hidden in that mess. And they've been trying to clean it up and get more visible like back in here you can't see it from here but there are more foundations and things so they will eventually find everything and get it all marked for everybody to see this is the sawmill and sawdust kiln if you want to pause that and read that too and last year they opened up this part of it you couldn't see that before so getting more out for everybody to see and this is that building I was talking about that I could never ID. So that means this was in the middle, there was another square here, another square here, and then that big tall round silo was right behind it. So I finally solved that mystery, and now we're back at the beginning of the park. So we just came here to the Black River Party Store and bought our fishing licenses. And yes, we wore our masks in there, like the law now says you have to when you go in a building. But nobody else is. We see people going in and out of places all over without them. And it was just announced today that everybody must wear one when they go in a business. So, I don't know. Everybody's above it but us, I guess. Now that the car is clean, 
Don is going to find some screws and put the plate right here where it belongs. I wanted the, cl the car clean first before the plate was put on. No sense putting it on top of a bunch of dirt. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. They're all set. Looks great on there, I think. Even though the bumper's broken, I don't care. Hey, Tug. Are you enjoying the warmer weather? I mean, it's only like 52, but that's a whole lot better than it has been around here lately, right? Right? Ah, uh, you don't care. And here's all the kitties. Well, almost. Smokey's not here. He's somewhere. Aww. So all we did was have chicken and baked potatoes and yellow beans for dinner. And we're just going to watch TV for the rest of the night. So we're going to say goodnight and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. It's an excellent morning. Is it? Yeah. We'll get it out there. Sure. And we'll see you next time.